Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This should work for all of the GSM versions. Okay, so first thing you need to do is you need to download uh, the rooting firmware, the rooted firmware, the drivers, and Odin, which is the flashing software. So first, we're gonna do the rooted firmware. You need to pick which device is yours, whether if you have T-Mobile, Mobilicity, Wind, etc., or if you have the AT&T, Bell, Telus, Rogers, etc. So we're using a T-Mobile one today, so I'm gonna click on the T-Mobile one. It'll take us to the developer's post on XDA. And here you'll find, in the first post here, the images. So for us, we're gonna use the latest T-Mobile one. So we click on that. And then click on that and save this to your desktop. Okay, next you're going to download the Samsung drivers. So either the ones for T-Mobile here or the ones for AT&T here. And if you scroll down, you'll see downloads. You click on that. And then you'll see the exe file here for the driver install USB driver exe button and extract this to your or save this to your desktop as well and the last thing you need to download is Odin itself which is the flashing software so we'll click Odin and save that to your desktop as well next you need to take the rooted firmware file and we're going to right click it and extract here um, if you don't have 7-zip or winzip or any of those things uh, you can download 7-zip by clicking on the link in our procedure on our site uh, once you've downloaded it, then when you right click you'll have the option to extract so we're going to say extract here and wait for that to extract then we're going to turn to our phone and we're going to turn it off Then we're gonna to turn to our phone and we're going to turn it off. And once it's entirely off, we're going to turn it back on by holding down volume down, the home button and power all at the same time and keep holding them until you get this warning. Then you're going to push volume up to continue. We'll be in downloading mode at that point. And then you're going to take your USB cable that's plugged into your computer and plug in your device. Okay, once you're plugged in and we've extracted this uh, rooted firmware file, you'll have just one file inside, which will be a .tar.md5. That's what we want. It should have the same name as the original .7-zip. So then we're going to right click and extract um, Odin from its .zip file. And wait for that to extract. Then open up that new folder, open up the folder inside it, and double click the .exe file. Hit yes. And once that's open, make sure that auto reboot is checked on, F reset time is checked on, and nothing else is. And we're going to click on the PDA button and scroll to our desktop, and we're going to find that rooted file with the .md5 on it. Hit open. Wait for it to check the file. Eventually it'll say that it's valid uh, and it'll show you that it's logged in there and everything. Then you're just going to hit start and wait for it to finish flashing. And once it's done, the phone will reboot. Um, it'll say pass here in Odin and you can go to the link uh, underneath this to head over to flash a custom recovery image or learn how to flash a custom ROM. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.